Hello friends, this is Coltron back with Code Vein. We're here in the Cathedral of the Sacred Blood where last time we learned about Aurora and the plan to kind of keep the different pieces of the Queen separate in these hosts. And that's kind of our next step is to go and find these hosts and make sure they're okay or fight them if they're not. And the other thing I keep thinking about is what is Silva's role in all this? Because I keep looking for ways for Silva to be super sinister, but nothing he's done at this point has seemed wholly unreasonable. Like the plan, like if they couldn't kill the queen and keeping her separate seems reasonable. Like there, he's not, at least not yet, I don't see kind of where the tyrant shoe is dropping, but maybe that'll come up down the line. Anyway, I'm going to head back to home base to check in. Timing. I just got some new stock. I think you'll find something you like. You know, I actually got some new info on the depths recently. Oh, what's that? It might lead us to the materials I've been looking for all these years. I'd go and check for myself right away, but the stuff is in the hands of some especially mean lost. I think you'd be up to the task, though. So, would you mind looking into it? I would not mind. We got a swirling flood map. I was, what I'm doing right now, because I said I was going to go back to home base, but I decided first to take a look and just stop by um, and talk to the previous people and just see if any new information cropped up, and lo and behold, it did. So we got a new depths map. Greetings. Who are you again? Damn it all. I can't find him. Where did he go? Hurry up and come out. It's dark. There are too many lost and I'm scared. This place is hell. If my wife knew I was out here, she'd be worried sick. Who are you looking for again? But he's in the same boat as me. We've both got families waiting back at the shelter. A friend? It sounds like a friend. He'll do whatever it takes to make it back home by the day the levy is due. Okay. So, yeah, it looks like there's a quest that just popped up then for... And they see where to go. Looks like there's some high ground here. Yeah, there's a there's a person there, or there's a thing there. Looks like it's eating your friend. Condensed lost short and a dog tag with ring. Yep, your friend did not. It looks like your friend did not make it. Sorry to say. Bad news, friend. If we don't bring blood beads back, it's all over. If we don't pay the levy, our families will get kicked out of the shelter. We can't let that happen. Damn it all! I'll do it on my own if I have to. My wife won't have to cry anymore. I swear, I'll bring blood beads back to the shelter. Can I? Can I help it's at all? It's way too dangerous outside the shelter. I've gotten too used to a life of safety inside. My wife and I met during the war against the Queen. Both soldiers? I died so many times I thought I'd go crazy. Oh. But she was there to support me. I can't let someone that precious to me be thrown into danger. The levy is painful, but the shelter is the only hope we've got. It's way too dangerous out there. Yeah, so I don't. I guess I don't have an answer, but I do see uh, someone at the at the like up ahead to the north section. So let's go see on the map. I see that. Uh, so let's go see what that person is. So who is this? It is a person. Oh, we meet again. Oh, it's the kid Matthew from it's the. A great spot to train nearby. But there's just one problem. Big the monster. Up ahead, but. There's an awful loss there, so I can't start my training. There's no way I could take it out. I'm really sorry to ask for your help again, but would you mind? I got you, buddy. Looks like we're in for a rough time. I'm sure it's fine. Uh, what is, what kind of loss is this? Just some big old monster vampire loss type thing? Can't say I'd like to stick around. Yeah, it's one of you. Yep, 
Yeah, I, I hate how that ability can get interrupted. And way to finish her off. Okay. Condensed loss shard. Let's go back to Matthew. We are quite generous. Go Sorry. us. Moving out. You defeated that lost for me? Thank you. Now I can start training. You're really tough, though. I wonder if I'll ever be strong like you. Probably not. Come to think of it, I heard rumors about a type of medicine that makes Revenant stronger. Maybe it'll help if I get my hands on some of that. So I don't think the there's... Horrors from the Great Collapse. They're different from the Lost. They're more destructive, more vicious, more terrifying. The loss don't even compare to them. The horrors, they're... Okay, so it seems like this is just hinting at a future quest rather than giving me an actual step for me to take right now. The whole medicine thing. I feel like the lost here have been behaving strange lately. Really? It was easier to explore when we could use all the missiles, but now even the start them up. So the lost have been behaving strange. Okay. I feel like the. Uh, I think head to I'll the. Lead the way. Just tell me where we're going. So we can go. To the swirling flood is actually before the town of impurity. Flood of impurity. The swirling, uh, flirting flood before the flood of impurity. Okay. Um, yeah. So we'll we'll check that out later. So. Louis's sister sacrificed herself in secret. It's heartbreaking. And it's pretty rough. Words are to be believed, you're a successor too. Let me know right away if you start feeling strange. I don't want you to sacrifice yourself for my sake. I guess that hadn't really clicked with me before, but I guess I am a successor. I'm, I'm not the successor of the rib cage. I guess maybe I'm the successor of the vestige or successor of the blood or something like that. And you, shelter, shelter girl. I brought you something from the shelter. Oh. Provisions that you might be able to use. Why, thank you. Please take them if you think they'll help. Holy shit. Thank you, human woman. Um, yeah, that's a bunch of good stuff. The relics. Do you remember the hunter oh. we saw back in the trenches? I do. He pulled something from the heart of the man he killed. Now that I think of it, it looked like a relic. Well, what was there is gone without a trace, so it's only a guess. In any case, you seem to have caught the hunter's eye. I'd watch my back if I were you. So maybe he's going after people who have parts of the queen and trying to take them and either keep them or use them or something like that. I just got some brandy you might like. Oh, that's well-aged brandy. I love how it makes my nose tingle. This stuff's hard to come by. You want to crack it open with me? Drinking alone isn't much fun. This is quite the gift. Thank you. You are welcome. Uh, what else? Comics. Aromatic herbs. And a 35 millimeter reel. Make sure you're ready for whatever comes. I think you'd like the 35 millimeter reel. Like lost here have been I'm happy to receive any gift. Even if it sucks like this one did. Yeah, this was a crappy. This is a two pointer for you. Um, Let the lost make a meal out of you. I'm gonna guess Mia is for the aromatic herbs because they're sort of tea like. Where's Mia? I'm not certain on this though. That could be also a um it could also be a cocoa thing. The hunter. What does he want with Nicola? What is he planning to do to him? I don't know, and I also don't know why Nicola went willingly with him, so it's not like a kidnapping situation. But here, have some aromatic herbs. Wow, that smells wonderful. 
I bet it would be perfect for tea. How good am I? I wonder where this stuff comes from. How it's made. Is there some facility where they produce it? Anyway, thank you. I'll put it to good use. Good. The other stuff, flower seeds, comic books, faded comics. I've really got to get stronger now. Maybe the faded comics go for Louie? First, I want to thank you for helping us complete our investigation of the source. Yeah, sorry about the outcome. Without your help, we never would have learned the truth or realized the gravity of the current situation. And we're not finished yet, so I want to say I'm glad to have you here. Glad to be here. Okay, what do you have I've to say? I've got a whole new line of stock in. Th but seriously, you, you've forgotten almost everything, haven't you? It's been a while since the queen was dethroned, but the world's no better now than it was then. Really? I think it's a little but better. If you've got the right attitude, even a prison can be a paradise. So it's all the same to me. Sorry, but we don't... So, I... I mean, they get, I mean, I get that the world's probably still not great, but the Queen was, like, destroying everything and sending spines of judgment left and right, right? So this has got to be a little better, at least. At least I'd like to, th like to think so. Your life depends on what you carry. Yeah, I don't want to give you flowers. I have a feeling that they're not going to... that you're Watch not going to be a fan of them. There. What about you, Eo? Yeah, here we go. You gonna talk about Lita now? Leda. Leda. Do you know of her? I heard she looks very similar to me. You heard right. Looks and dresses. At some point, she simply vanished, leaving behind only a single vestige. Wait, what? Louis thought it might mean something, so he brought it to me. She vanished? I know nothing about her, but I feel that I should. There are memories in this vestige. Please, could you show me? Let's have a look, or of course. Oh, <laughs> yeah. To... Yeah, this is... I'm getting a... I'm really feeling the player... I'm really feeling the player agency here. So what if they're the same person? What if, like, Leda was a part of EO and her name was EO Leda or something? Successor. Who's there? Who's there? My name is Leda. I am an attendant. An attendant. I'm here to serve and support you in your tasks. I see. But even so, I'm sorry. I cannot allow you to come inside. I understand. And it will not be a problem. I will stay and attend to you from out here. In that case, do you think you could talk with me for a while? Hmm. And so... Aurora is attending to me now. Because I'm the successor too. Is she the hunter? What is she doing here? Leda? Where did you go? Do not worry, successor. I have performed my duty and dealt with the intruder. They will not be able to revive now that they have been turned to ash. Holy shit, go Leda. That's driving them off is enough, isn't it? Why did you have to go so far? My duty is to protect and defend it. I must ensure threats are completely repelled before they have a chance to cause you harm. Makes sense. As the successor of the rib cage, I order you to stop hunting revenants immediately. I don't think that's up no. to her. I'm sorry, successor, but I will do what must be done. That is my purpose. Leda. So, purpose given by who? Like, how did she become an attendant? Successor, another intruder has been repelled. Why all these intruders? Why are they trying to get to her? Looks like I won't be able to remain myself for much longer. Thank you for everything, Leda. Wait. 
when that time comes, my only regret is leaving you all alone. You've always been so unerringly steadfast. I... I do not understand. I have performed my duty. I have done everything I was supposed to do. Yeah, this was out of your control, though. Everything I was supposed to do to protect my successor. Hmm. Cathedral of the Sacred Blood, aloof in the hollow land, it ends up calling to people who end up lost forever. An attendant of the relics. One who stands <laughs> by and serves a successor. It is the same for me. My duty is to stand by your side and lend you my support, just as she did for her successor. We were created with the same purpose. Created? By who? That attendant, Leda. She was a defender of sacred ground. I am certain she fulfilled her duty until the end. Her duty is not yes, over, though. She fulfilled her duty, <clears throat> yet. I'm not sure how to describe what I'm feeling. It seems so empty somehow. Her life was consumed entirely by her mission. Leda. I... I want to know more. All this time I've been blindly following my duty. But is what I'm doing really the right thing? What is my true purpose in life? Probably more than just repairing vestiges. I may be able to find the answers to some of my questions. Just as I did now. Actual EO story arc, good. That what I ask you now may not be part of my duty. Still, I feel I must ask it of you, nevertheless. Please, will you? Will you permit me to go with you in your future travels? Oh, hell yes. Are you sure? Are you going to be like a caster or something? Actually, I hope you're like a two-handed, sword-wielding tank, like a juggernaut. Aos Vestige 1. Aos Vestige. Aos is like the dawn, right? Or the goddess of the dawn. It, well, it's a Greek thing, though. Hmm. Please accept my blood code. Oh, sweet! I am not sure what strength it might give you, but I want to support you in every way I can. Here, take it. Okay. I'll never get over that sound. Aos, boost support type gifts, high endurance, and plenty of I core. So we got Isis and Aos now. Ranged combat and support gifts. This is a, a, an A plus in S scaling in mind and A plus in vitality. Interesting. As an attendant of the relics, I have stayed near my successor. I am not sure if that mission is the correct one. But if I am with you, I feel I will find some answer. There may be memories of other attendants. I would ask that you find them for me. I'll keep an eye out. Can I restore that vestige? I assume not. I assume I'll need more. So we have this vestige 1. We'll need part A, part B, part C, part D, part E, part F. Silene, Memories of Phoebe, Themisto. An ashen attendant, a lost attendant, and a devoted attendant. Whew, okay. This is going to be a long journey there. Was I of any assistance? You always are. Wait, can I sit at the piano? 
I guess I can. I can play the piano. <laughs> is there some secret? Oh, yep. Just zoom right in on the dick. Um, is there some... Is there... I, I don't know anything about piano. So every button except... Every button including... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, every button on the controller except circle. Circle gets up. Every other button plays a, plays a note. Except I don't know anything about piano or what I'm supposed to play, so I will get up. I would bet dollars to donuts that there's... Hello. Yep, uh, there, <laughs> that there's a secret there. That, like, if you play the right notes or something, then EO will be like, oh, nice tune. Here's a secret blood code. Search the door that leads to the successor. Investigate Cathedral of the Sacred Blood. Okay. Yes, yeah, so we know that. That's the kind of our next main goal. Crypt lattices. Enclosures created to stave off frenzy and protect the successor's relics. A crypt lattice will dissolve if the successor who created it perishes. Only attendants of the relics are allowed within, and while these structures slow the decay of relics and prevent outside attacks, they also cut off something something. Cut off outside contacts, I'm guessing it's in. Okay. That makes sense, and it also tells me that maybe the person, the woman that... Uh, what if Jack is an attendant, and Nicola is, is a successor, and the woman he was, like the singing woman was a successor? Maybe that's the answer, and he's protecting them. Okay, where were we? Um, Aurora's Memories 1. So, okay, so Threads of Memory. Deep within the cathedral, you meet a woman who bears a resemblance to Io. She says, please, I beg of you, use your power now before handing you a vestige. Um, Aurora's Memories. Oh, in the Cathedral of Sacred Blood. Aloof in a hollow land, the, the labyrinthine halls of this holy place calls out to lost lambs who end up wandering them forever. It calls out to lost lambs who end up wandering them forever. So there's something about the successor maybe that draws in people, draws in lost to them. Aurora's Memories 1. Aurora's Memory Echo revealed upon her... Okay, before the great collapse, Aurora and Karen had parasite research for the betterment of humanity. But when the horrors flood the land, the re their research and that focus inevitably shifts to warfare, and they must create revenants from human corpses. Yeah, that's rough. We saw two. Aurora's Memories 3. Aurora's Memory Echo revealed upon restoring her vest. Okay, inherits a relic and becomes a successor, but her low compatibility with it causes her immense pain. Over time, she slowly loses her memory, and in the end, she frenzies, leaving only her sentiments for Karen behind. Guardian of the Gate. A massive gate bars the party's progress, but gesturing the way the woman taught it, you cause it causes it to slowly open. Beyond the portal as though standing watch is a giant foe. Yeah, that was Aurora. Ominous Crystal. Though you defeat the enemy that blocks your way, a massive vestige appears as it disperses, knitting it back together instantly. The party readies for battle again, this time with the goal of destroying the vestige. Corruption and resonance. You attempt to destroy the huge vestige, but none of your attacks can even mar its surface. Suddenly, your mind flashes back into the past, and your hand moves toward the final crystal, as though being pulled by an invisible string. Meeting Aurora, memory restored. In the memory within the vestige, you meet Aurora... Before she frenzied, and she reveals to you new facts about the source and the true nature of the world. Successors. Uh, okay, so revenants who carry parts of the queen's body called relics within themselves. The queen's infinite regenerative capacity left fusion with other bodies as the only option for containment. That makes sense. And again, uh, Silva seems on board so far. 
uh, successor selection, only revenants with a high enough compatibility are chosen to become successors, and even most of them eventually most of them eventually succumb to corruption that transforms their bodies. Thus, a tempered will is also vital for keeping relics under control. Makes sense. Aurora's revival. With her memory echo returned, Aurora makes a miraculous recovery. So this is the part where I believe, I haven't actually Googled it, but I'm certain that if I had walked out that door that she would not have revived and something would have been different in the story. Uh, Aurora makes a miraculous recovery. Though her body remains in its lost shape, her human awareness is restored. The party's next destination is the source, so you start moving toward the gate Aurora has watched over. The source of blood beads. Ah. Excuse me. Um, yeah, poor Louis, poor Karen. Past the gateway is Louis's older sister, Karen, who has root-like tendrils growing from her. Louis is astonished at his sister's sacrifice. So she's still alive, though, right? I hope she's not conscious. The party sits out in search of the successor in order to put an end to the disaster caused by the queen. I, I hate that Cruz is getting blamed for this. It's really not her fault. Carrier of the Blood, Aurora Alive. Aurora Alive. Yep, so the fact... That meeting Aurora, memory restored. Carrier of the Blood, Aurora Alive. That tells me that there is, like, meeting Aurora, memory not restored. Carrier of the Blood, Aurora Dead. That, like, there would be a different outcome in those situations. As the party makes their way back, they are attacked by the hunter. He learns he has found the successor of the blood, right, that's me who holds the power to suppress frenzy caused by relics, a power he thought lost to time. He desires this, but leaves to tend to his ally after a sudden change befalls her. So here's what I'm guessing. No, she looks like an attendant. Maybe he is, maybe Jack is the successor of the something, and he's trying to like become the successor of the blood and the ribcage and this and that and that and become like the queen. That doesn't make sense. Why would you want to do that? Relics, the divided parts of the queen's body. Like the lost, her cells were taken over completely by a BOR parasite, so she could not be reduced to ash. As a last resort, the individual parts were transplanted to the bodies of others in order to contain her. Leda's memories. Leda's memory echo revealed upon restoring her vestige. Believing in her duty as an attendant, Leda kills any revenant that tries to approach Aurora's crypt. Yet more and more, because I was joking before about like how they made... Uh, that woman, the companion of Jack, like have the same bandage bra as as Eo, but that seems to be like the, and it's still ridiculous. But like, aside from that, it seems to be like the car the common garment used by attendants, which tells me that Jack is a successor in himself, maybe. Eo's determination with Lita's vestige, Eo regained her power. What could be the purpose of life for an attendant? To find the answer, she asked to join the fight. So this is where we're going to wrap up today. The depths, the swirling flood. That's interesting. What's to the right there? So this is... I don't know what that symbol is. Maybe... Yeah, I don't know what that symbol is to the to the east. Anyway, that's something we're going to deal with next time. Um, so thanks for watching. I'll do my best to help out. We got e holy shit! I was just kidding when I said that Eo should be a giant two like two handed weapon wielder. Who I thought she was for sure going to be just kind of a, a back range caster, but no. Eo is going to carve a fool up. Look at her. It acts as twice the size of, she, of her of that she is. I mean, so is my, my spear, but, you know. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I will see you later. Okay, bye-bye.